Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in the technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to look at how you would configure a Net2 ACU to accept a Wigand reader. Typically, the, the Net2 ACUs A would accept a Paxton format reader. But because there's so many other readers out there, most of them work on the Wigan protocol. So let's go to doors. And this is the door I've just added. You can see it hasn't got a name yet. It's just the ACU and the serial number. So let's just call this door, just, just for this video. Um, the next tab you come to is the door group. Well, in, in my instance, there are no groups, so we'll just leave it as that is. How long is the door open for? As you know, I always change them into five seconds unlock the door drawing um, so is the door going to be unlocked and the answer is no it's always going to be access controlled and let's go down here reader one so reader one what is it it's door one door in so that's the if you were using this for time and attendance this would be the reader on the outside or uh, the, the clocking in reader and um, the reader type is um, a weekend reader keypad's not used and the token data format is 26 bit now in this there's two formats you can have 26 bit or 26 bit with a site code now if you were to choose 26 bit with a site code what that means is since say you were using a, a hid reader a signal and you can see that in other videos if you if you enter the the site code number of the system when you come to add new users, instead of adding the full token number, which could be zeros, ones, and so on, you could actually just enter one, number one, if it was user one, and two, if it was user two, because it, the HID site code will enable you to easily add people just rather than using um, the long serial number of the card. You, you don't need a desktop reader. However, most systems don't use site codes. Most of them just give a, 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 a a Wigan number, a token number, and site code isn't really applied. So say you were using the AEVO um, fingerprint reader or the AEVO face terminal readers, they use a site code, but really the, the output is, is a Wigan number. So don't confuse you, you should just leave it as 26-bit. Um, the reader operating mode is inactive at the moment. Is it going to be token only, which means it'd be used for access control, or you're going to be loading people in or loading cards in, and then you can set this particular reader to be um, a desktop reader, and that can load card numbers in in advance. But we'll, we'll leave it as token only, we'll use it as access control. Um, and that's it, that's uh, reader one set up on the system. And if we go, if you are using it, as I mentioned, as um, a reader in and a reader out for time and attendance or for basic um, logging, you do the same procedure again. Um, this is the out reader. And what type of reader is it? It's Wigand and 26 bit and it's token only. Now you can't mix technologies. They, they would always have to be a Wigand reader um, on, on the one ACU. You couldn't have one reader as uh, Wigand and the other reader as clock and data. It, they have to be the same tech. Okay, um, once you've done all your changes, click apply and connect your reader as per the instructions. And you are now ready to go. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.